Welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm Jason Grumet here with the Bipartisan Policy Center. It is uh, really a delight to be here with our uh, newfound partners at the Steamboat Institute to have a few minutes to reflect on um, this really incredibly interesting and successful campus freedom tour. I want to just say a little bit about why we are uh, enthusiastic about the collaboration and in doing so hopefully share a little bit about kind of the DNA uh, here at the Bipartisan Policy Center because this event really does speak to the essence of what um, you know, we try to accomplish here in what we affectionately call the swamp. We like the swamp. Um, <laughs> we think we need to be a little bit less self-denigrating about our democracy, but I'll, I'll say more. So uh, the Bipartisan Policy Center, uh, essentially like Steamboat, started about 10 years ago. Our um, imagination is aggressive bipartisanship. And the, um, okay, so say a little bit about that as a rationale for why we are happy to be here. A lot of people look at our democracy and say, it's just such a shame we're so polarized. If we could just get along and have some imagination of uh, America that has no basis in our 240 years of actual civil history. The story of this country has not been placid compromise. It has been an aggressive, constructive collision of ideas that has actually taken the necessary aggression of 300 million different people and turned it into resilient public policy. And so we are um, bipartisan. We are not postpartisan or metapartisan or nonpartisan or transpartisan or any different imagination that seeks to take the true debate out of our government. Um, our goal is to figure out how you govern a polarized nation. And the fundamental answer to that question is dialogue. Um, there is nothing more exhausting than getting 20 moderates together in a room <laughs> to have a conversation with themselves that has almost no actual relevance or traction to the reality of our politics. And so what really um, you know, inspires us about being part of this discussion is in a moment or two, you will hear from two people who are not centrists, but people who are passionate, informed, and able to actually constructively disagree with each other. I think in um, demonstration of this reality, uh, this morning I heard uh, President Fox on um, Morning Joe as I drove in, and we will soon be joined by uh, Nigel, who is spending a little time at Fox and Friends. So I think that does... Uh, oh, fantastic. <laughs> Welcome. Um, and I guess just to kind of um, close out my opening, I think the other understanding we have is that good democracy, good politics, is a combination of emotion and evidence. And we seem to have a hard time finding that balance these days. We have spent quite a few decades um, where kind of technocratic, slightly dehydrated, antiseptic views of the right way to go has been, in many people's view, kind of imposed upon a diverse electorate, absent authenticity absent the kind of emotion that's necessary for real leadership. I think we are overcorrecting at this moment, and we are now governed more by passion and emotion, uninformed by a culture of evidence. Um, we have to have both. And again, I think what is really um, profound about what Steamboat Institute uh, is doing is demonstrating that it is that combination that is fact has been always the engine of good debate and ultimate uh, policy solution. So really pleased that we have a little time to kind of exhale and reflect on what I know has been an intense and uh, passionate set of discussions. The you know, event last night was profound overflow excess, uh, success, excess and success. Um, and I guess to just kind of share a little bit on behalf of uh, the sponsor of the university, I want to welcome uh, Christina Elson, who's the director of the Snyder Center for Enterprise and Markets at uh, UMD to say a few words and then we will hear from our speakers.